What's going on today guys? In this video we're taking a full tour of the 2020 Chevy Equinox LT. Before I start this video, I want to give a huge thanks to Ericsson Chevrolet for providing the vehicle scene in today's video. If you guys would like to check out their website, the link will be down in the description below. Now in front of us here, we have a 2020 Chevy Equinox LT in one of the new colors for the 2020 model year, and that is chocolate metallic. Now I know we have an overcast sky today, so it might be hard to discern this color from maybe a black vehicle, but I can assure you this is the new brown color. Now starting at the front of the vehicle, we do have your projector, LED headlights with your LED daytime running lights as well as your turn signal and fog lights down below. We do have some chrome trim along the grill here. Now taking a look at your wheels and tires, these are 225-65 R17, so these are your 17 inch alloy wheels standard on the LT trim with others being optional. And of course we do have your Equinox badging on the door there, as well as your painted mirror covers and proximity key entry on both front door handles is no longer on the rear as well. Let's take a look at the back of the vehicle. We do have your incandescent brake lights, turn lights, as well as your reverse bulbs. And down below on the bumper, we do have your rear park assist sensors. And of course, your rear view camera just below the badge there and your black plastic antenna on the roof, it is not paint matched. And of course on this Equinox you do have your blind spot alert on the mirrors as well. Now take a look at the window sticker on this vehicle, of course this is the 2020 Equinox front wheel drive LT with the 1.5 liter turbo. As mentioned earlier this is the new chocolate metallic color with the jet black cloth interior. Again, 1.5 liter turbo with the six speed automatic transmission. Now the only options on this particular vehicle, and this is new for 2020, is the confidence and convenience package for $2,045. Now neither of those are new packages, however they are a new combined package for 2020. And that gives you a lot of equipment in that one package, including those rear park assist sensors, the side blind zone alert with lane change alert. Uh, that's just the part of the driver confidence package. And some of the convenience features are the heated front seats, the air conditioning, which is dual zone automatic climate control, the universal home link remote, leather wrapped steering wheel, and the list goes on. Now the total price for this vehicle is $30,740. And while we're looking at the window stick here, there are some new standard safety equipment for 2020 mile year. Now none of these features are new on the Equinox, however they are newly standard on the Equinox. So some of those features include the IntelliBeam headlights, the follow distance indicator, the forward collision alert, the lane keep assist with lane departure warning, the automatic emergency braking, and the front pedestrian braking. Now take a look on the interior here. Starting off with the door panel, we do have a soft textured material for the armrest that kind of wraps up towards the top of the door. We do have some hard touch plastic all along the bottom here. We do have your windows, mirrors, and locks with the only one being automatic is the driver's side window. And down below that we do have your power tailgate control which is programmable to any height you want. I think between half and max you can program that three quarter button to be the height you would like but there are max and three quarter as presets. Of course we have your speaker there. Of course we do have your power driver's seat with power lumbar and of course the nicely textured black cloth interior. So let's go ahead and start up the vehicle. As 
as you can see, your gauges are pretty much unchanged in the LT here. You do have your center screen, which has a lot of your driver information that you can change and switch between. Let's look at some of your menus here. But again, very nice gauge cluster. And one thing to note, you can see down below there, is the Lane Keep Assist symbol, which again is new for the LT trim here on the Equinox. Again, it is now standard on all Equinoxes. But that's something that shows up there as well and is controlled on the steering wheel here. Take a look at the left of the steering wheel. We do have your gauge illumination control, your automatic headlight control, as well as your fog light controls right there. You do have your leather wrap tilt telescoping steering wheel, which features your lane keep assist button, the forward distance indicator here, as well as your cruise control all along that. You do have your voice commands, as well as your call button and your menu controls for that center screen here. Again, these are your automatic high beam control right here, as well as your wiper control on the other side. Now take a look at your infotainment system. This again is the Infotainment 3 for Chevy. Again, that was unveiled on the Equinox last year for 2019. But again, it is unchanged for 2020. It is a seven inch touch screen. It features your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, of course, as standard on all Chevy vehicles. Again, you do have your dual home screens, like I like to call that. And a bunch of your infotainment and uh, vehicle settings over here, as you can see. Now below that, we do have your dual zone automatic climb control, part of the optional package. It does feature your three level heated seats. Going further, we do have your USB Type-C port down back here, aligns with your USB-A, your auxiliary, as well as a 12 volt outlet. That USB-C was new for the 2019 model year, which is nice to see as well. Now coming back, we do have your 6-speed automatic transmission with manual gear selection on top of the shift knob there. We do have your electronic parking brake. Now the key is unchanged for the Equinox, features all your good stuff. I really like this key fob overall, except uh, maybe the fact that it is used on nearly every Chevy product that's not a truck. Um, it's just used. It's a really nice key fob. It's just maybe the time to uh, upgrade to a different one. Coming back here, we do have a little cubby here, as well as your soft touch armrest, which does have illumination inside for storage. No other ports or anything in there, but it is fairly deep and has this removable tray. Now, coming up top here, we do have your illuminated visors along with your manual dimming rear view mirror. And of course we do have your OnStar buttons up here as well as your interior light control, your three programmable home link buttons, and of course your sunglass holder, which is padded. Taking a look at the rear seat of the vehicle, of course most of your materials are gonna follow through to the rear seat. So you do have that soft touch armrest right here with some of that harder touch materials up top and down below with some storage in the door, as well as your window control. Again, the back seat in the Equinox is fairly huge. I mean, there is a ton of room in this segment of SUV. But you do have dual map pockets on either side, as well as rear vents and two USB-A ports in the back seat for charging, which is very nice. Now we do have your armrests with two cup holders, and the seats do recline here in the Equinox. Kind of a little awkward, but uh, this lever that lets the uh, seats fold down does offer a slight bit of reclining, as you guys can see here. So it is nice, gives you that little extra uh, angle that you guys might be needing to get comfortable in the back seat. But we do have your panels on all four corners as well as some interior illumination as well as it looks like microphones for all four occupants. Now take a look at the trunk space in the Equinox. It is very good. Lots of storage back here. You do have your handles to put, fold down to each seat on either side as well as a 12 volt outlet right there. You do have cargo net hooks, everything like that on either side. 
And beneath the false floor here, we do have a ton of extra storage space. As you can see, it goes way back there, and this can be removed by sliding it towards you and pulling up just like that. And of course, you do have your power tailgate. Now take a look underneath the hood of the Equinox here. We do have your 1.5 liter Ecotec turbocharged engine paired to the six speed automatic transmission. Now this powertrain is not new for 2020. However, I'll go ahead and insert the power figures for this engine on the screen here. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes for the 2020 mile year here on the Equinox. Like I mentioned earlier while taking a look at the window sticker, there is new safety tech here on the Equinox. Now some of those features include the lane keep assist, the forward collision alert, the forward collision uh, pedestrian braking, as well as the IntelliBeam headlights. Now those features were available on the previous year's Equinoxes, however they are now standard on all Equinoxes. Now I'll go ahead and put a list of all the other changes for the 2020 mile year here on the screen so you guys can go ahead and take a look through it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full tour of the 2020 Chevy Equinox LT. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, once again, a huge thanks to Ericsson Chevrolet for providing the vehicle seen in today's video. Their information will be in the description as well. And if you guys are interested in checking out any other Chevy or other vehicle tours, please check out my channel as I have quite a few 2020 mile year vehicles as well as previous year vehicles for you guys to take a look at. So with all that being said, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. Also, comment down below if you guys have any questions or any thoughts about this 2020 Equinox. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.